guys, I'm Krigo, and this is Far Cry 2. We are going to go after our last base for now, right? You know, we have then most of the island under all control. Let me show you the beauty of it, right? You know, this one we still want to have. And then the northern part, while well, the north, west, and east part is ours. And then we only have to do all of this, though, later on, right? You know, but for now, we want to concentrate on this part of the island. Let's take the base, let's do the side mission here, and let's go towards Buck for once, right? You know, for once in a lifetime, let's reload to... Oh yeah, last time we were here, we had to make some uh, pictures of the dead pirates, yeah. And some uh, dude got very, very excited about it, huh? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, what a pervert that was, right? You know, but let's have a little scouting trip around here. It's nice and dark, so let's go, let's go, let's go. What part? It's one, two... Hmm... We do see the alarm already. Yeah, I want to be a little bit more calm about this, right? You know, we have some very heavies around here too. So we ought to be very, very careful. Uh, rather soon we want to... Oh, actually right now though, I suppose, right? We want to get rid of the uh, camera. And sneaky break a little bit to a higher ground. Okay, nobody's there. Hmm. At least that's good to know. Also interesting to see the one eye there, right? You know, the all-seeing eye. Yeah, let's sneak on close. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We don't need the captain over here. Let's just be very, very careful, I suppose. can just disable it like that that is interesting i thought we had to shoot it or something i'm not sure what was up with that though but oh well oh the other one is right there mm. oh! yeah 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 Oh, we don't have grenades. That's bad news, man. That's some very bad news right there. Let's destroy that one. Is it destroyed? Yes, it's destroyed. Nice. Woo, let's heal up. Oh, boy. Oh, tiger. Damn. No, 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 Mr. Tiger. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's just, let's just be like this right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a mess, man. A little bit more professional, I said, huh? What a joke I am. Oh, come on. Heal up fast. We do need to hunt for some uh, ammo. Well, not ammo. For some hate speed, man. For some hate speed. Hate speed. I cannot even talk, man. That nervous. <laughs> it's fun, though. It's fun. It's crazy, but it's fun. You know, just in case, maybe we should craft something already, right, you know? I feel quite embarrassed, man. There we go. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Man, I feel rather embarrassed. We have to play a little bit more professional. And then I try to shoot him. He moves just a millimeter. Millimeter away, right, you know? And I'm dead because of that. Damn it. But it's so easy to trick him. At least you are losing the line of sight, man. That's the best thing about this game, almost. Okay, you know? That's good. You're at least losing sight of, of, sight of line. Meaning, it kind of resets. I can then boost them. But wow! This could have been a lot smoother, though, right? A lot smoother. I need to spend some uh, some uh, beautiful money, right, you know? So why not buy some of these consumables here and there? Even the, the, the armor. It's good then, right? It's good. Now let's go after the captain. Man, my gameplay today, right, in the past three episodes is nothing. Hiding out in the tunnel. All right. Is nothing in compared to what we did before. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Look is not on our side right now. 
but that makes it so much more exciting man my heart yo it's pumping loving it wait seriously they're already yeah apparently what no way dude all right all right oh my god yeah yes yes you're hit all right all right mr captain boy huh All right, Le Capitaine is down. Beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff, isn't it? Oh, okay. Well, I couldn't do much for that one, huh? <laughs> I know, excuse after excuse. Oh, no. Hoppa. But it's still smooth, man. You can say whatever you want, but it's still smooth, my boy. Letter. Swingies? Little sister, these are my final words. I will commit to Puku once I finish this letter. It will be the last honorable thing I do. But before I die, I must tell someone the truth. Tadao betrayed us. I read his letter. He sabotaged our radios after hearing of the bomb in Hiroshima. I cannot blame him. He wished to spare us from the ugly truth. The Major wasn't as understanding. He executed Tadao and then turned his sidearm on anyone who protested. Who, uh, we fought back, killing him, and now I am the only one left. Ren died last night from an infection. It pains me to know that I had a hand in killing Major Mogi. He was once a good man. I hope our ancestors understand how dire the situation was and have mercy on me. And I hope that one day you can read these words and forgive me. Goodbye, Shinji. Okay, this makes so much sense right now if you do understand World War II quite a bit. Right? You don't have to be a major in it or whatever, but the the Japanese in World War II did not want to surrender, right? Once they did hear that, it, it, it's the same what happened in, in Moscow, right? You know, and well, back then Stalingrad and in Berlin, um, soldiers did not want to surrender, right? Because they fought for nothing then in, in everything. So this major wanted everybody to, well, be, be ignorant. Just to stand here, fight on till the last of them survive. There's actually a man in the Philippines. Well, there was, not anymore, right? But there was. He was a Japanese soldier living the life of the jungle. He killed civilians, thinking they were spies. He lived for i don't know 50 years something like that or 40 45 years a long time in the jungle right you know waiting for the all clear of the imperial army right you know you have to understand back then people were a whole lot different you know they were a whole lot different um germany france and all the european nations had a lot of luck uh back then right you know because you surrender to fellow christians right you know to fellow uh this is a little bit sensitive for my american audience but to fellow white people you know uh, <laughs> it's so weird to say that but if you were a japanese soldier and you're fighting people of a different religion people of a different skin tone you don't surrender one two three right you know and he had no option, man, you know? He had no option, right, you know? So they were afraid that horrible things might have happened to their country. And the bombs were a horrible thing, right, you know? It's crazy if you think about it, right, you know? If you surrender and you think like, oh, if I surrender, these things might happen. So, yeah. Culture is also part of that, right? Because there were Japanese that did surrender, uh, surrender in Indonesia, uh, as an example, right? To the Dutch and um to a couple of uh, german outposts there too right you know um in in malaysia and china and korea right uh there was different surrender but if you were fighting the us 
yeah it's a whole or the australians you know it's a whole different mess than for them at least right why the dutch and germans because they were trading with the dutch and germans since uh the time of the samurai right you know so it's a whole different thing again culture and similarity right it's crazy how that works man well, it's not my birthday she must be christmas <laughs> i'm here for my friend keith nah, sorry it doesn't ring a bell you bought him from hoyt ah him <laughs> he said his name was <laughs> You're hysterical. <laughs> no. All right, then. Let's get down to brass tags. You must be Jason Brody. Look, I just want Keith. Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> We're not all savages here. We're just businessmen, responsible capitalists. I've got something that, that you want, right? That's a product. I've got something that I want. And what the hell is that? Temper, temper, Chase. Be careful. If you do me in, you'll never get him back. Find this for me. You score that, and you and I are even, Stephen. And Keith goes with you. Bring me what has been lost. Uh, I've seen this knife before. A knife? A knife? It's not just a fucking knife. It's art. All history in this and you and Keith's four arches squeezed together. That's my fucking fee, right? Where is it? It's Trejanta. He knew where it was. Advice, he got the wanker's boat. Research he was doing on some Chinese treasure. And his crew. Do you know what else he got? A knife? No, not a fucking knife. It's location. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want Keith back? Get on the goddamn boat. Find out where the artifact's buried before someone else nicks it. I'm on your bike. Fuck off. Interesting. There, you know, uh, more about familiarity, right? You know, uh, the war between the Russians or, you know, the Soviets. Uh, more than one country, right? Than Russia. And Germany is also because they were not familiar with one another. Well, they were historically, right? You know? Uh, like two hands on one belly but then communism came and they were totally different so that's why they didn't trust one another right <laughs> you know what i mean and that's why it was so bloody another thing though to think about though is in china for example chinese did run around in cover while having the world war ii flag of germany right over the over them over a group so that uh the japanese would not shoot at it because they were allies and they were they did not want to offend you know the germans and everything right you know um it's like that sniper code right you know you don't take someone out if they are taking a shit or a piss in the woods you know what i mean <laughs> it is something that you don't do right you know you just wait a couple of seconds longer but the thing though is or minutes the thing though is they did that there were also chinese that were associated with germany and there was a german man if i'm not mistaken that did take care of a lot of lot of chinese children to protect them right as an as a german chinese uh, project oh there it is interesting and the japanese did let them go you know very weird right you know but he also had to wait uh be afraid and hide from um infiltrate the nostalgia sure thing Oh, wait a minute. The nostalgia? Is that a... Yeah, Far Cry 2, I believe. But yeah, you know, they were... Uh, they had to hide also from the communists again. From Mao, Zedong and his army. Right? There were a couple of factions back then under the communists. Oh, boy. Yep. No, 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 no. We are stalling. Let me guess. I had to get a boat here. Uh, not really. All right, let's go. We could not fly towards it. An invisible wall. Please let that be no shark, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the thing, though, is is that... Um, it is weird. So it, it has less to do with race or skin color or whatever, right? It has more to do with familiarity. It is such a weird freaking thing that we have as humans. It re yeah, I do remember this shit, man. This is from Far Cry 1. Absolutely fantastic. 
But anyways, familiarity is key, right? You know, and it's such a weird thing, man, you know. It is, I, I don't know, man, you know, it, it is difficult to explain. But I hope you found it a little bit interesting, though, at least, right? You know, to hear me talk about these things. It's not a subject that I really do like to talk about that much, though. But, well, actually, I do at times, but you know what I mean? Hello there, big boy. Oh, my. Got a couple of boys down there. So I kind of want to take him out, you know? Mm. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Nice. Nice. Let's check the front of the of the boat, right? You know. Okay, no sniper up there. Good. Gotta be careful, though. Gotta be careful. Hmm. But why I'm saying these things, right, you know? Because I care for you guys, right, you know? If you want to survive what is upcoming in the future... Is it from up here? Yeah, okay, weird. Whatever is coming from the future, right, you know? Learn a couple of words. Say that, wow, dude, I'm interested in your culture, you know? Like, uh, you know, it's my way to show respect or whatsoever. <laughs> you don't know, right? You know, it, it might actually help out one day. Okay, we kind of messed up there big time. Yes, you are, big boy. Nice. All right, so that is that. No hostilities there. It might help you out one day. Especially if you're genuine, right? You know, I, what I try to say, be genuine with what you're saying. Uh, because everybody can smell an actor, right? You know, and um, be familiar with, with symbols. <laughs> you know, like the Chinese were with the Japanese there, right? You know, very smart thinking. You have to admit it, though. You have to admit it. All right, come on. I need that research. All right, here goes Johnny. Probably uh, crash again. Hopefully not, though. Come on. Come on, don't be a game ruiner. Come on, I need that research. Oh, yeah, I cannot save, though, because of a mission, right? You know? Mm, infiltrate to nostalgia. Hey, I have to infiltrate it. Don't make so much noise with the body. Whoa, is that a dive? Yeah, nice. How long you got to stay here? Until we find the knife. All right. We gotta get on that computer. Indeed, we have to. Oh, let's see, though. Things are going rather good, though. Rather good, indeed. Kind of feels more like a place for an MP5, right? You know, than uh, the cutter bin that we have. Fucking rebels. Let them keep this shithole. Bye-bye. I do lie off tight quarters though, right, you know? Nice. Hmm, we already have enough there, sadly. Oh, actually pretty good though, right? Because that means that we didn't need them. Wow, man, I love this. It's like the terracotta army. Okay. An MP5 has so much less swing. So much less swing, though, right, you know? Let me guess. Boss fight? Oh, shit, dude. Fuck. Nice, he's down. All right. Good that he didn't turn around, right? The location of that knife's on this computer. All right, we'll take that pistol to the left with me, right? It's, it sounds like an... Uh, looks like a navigation system, there right? With is. the stars, uh, symbols. A compass must be important. To the knife. Hurry up, you piece of crap. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Oh boy. We should have gone to the left side, right, you know. Ooh. 
Yeah, I doubt that we can go through the hole that that created right there. Oh no. What? It blew away the entire hole? No way, right? I'm not, I'm not sure about, about you guys, but have you ever been so deep in the water that your eardrums almost explode? You know, like, the pressure is so extreme. It's kind of cool, though, but uh, not nice, man. All right. Yeah, at least everything is sealed right. So there's some air pockets here and there. I thought there would be. It should be. Someone left open the door, apparently, right? Whoa! Are you an idiot, though, to fight me right now? You are too loyal, man, for your own good, big boy. Too loyal for his own good, man. He should have swum out of here. Maybe help each other, right, you know? First you have to drink all the water. No joke. Mm. Checkpoint reads. Let's go grab this one too. Just to be sure, right? Alright, interact. No, 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 you cannot do this in the ship. It's way, way, way too strong, by the way. Way too strong for that. It has to withstand tons of water pressure right from the outside with the waves smashing against it. Oh, no. Not sure what happened here, though, huh? Ah! Oh. Rise and shine. Come on. You know the woods are lovely, dark and deep, eh? Hey, get the fuck up! Come on! Here you go. If I might prize it, it wasn't on the boat. Oh, Jason. Keith is going to be very disappointed. He looked uncomfortable last I saw him. Why are you telling me this, sir? Entertainment, my dear. Entertainment. <laughs> Did you happen to find a compass? Excellent. Very good. Now, research says, follow the compass. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Now, you can handle being on your own, Sam. Keith needs me. All right? Toodles. Toodles, big boy. At least he's a little bit charming, right? You know, if it's you more. He seems like a rather difficult to understand, but the compass is rather simple to, to follow, right? I suppose. You have to go and look for landmarks, connect it with that, combine the, log, you know, the markings, and then you have your location. Easier said than done, motherfucker, indeed. Alright, it seems like we have to go to deer. Mm. Let's go! Well, at least we do restart here, man. Wow. I mean, that's a bit evil, though, of the game, right? And right when I wanted to say thank you for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.